Hi, hello, welcome back to the Walkie YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at Python uh, Modern Shopper. This is going to be part number five. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment your favorite thing about this video or how I can improve my coding. So, where we started off last time, let's see. Uh, where did we start off last time? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so after the last uh, episode, we were able to basically uh so we closed the oh yeah we were able to click let's just run the program so i can oh ah uh, nope let's just run the program so i can just show you what's going on right now so we have this window here and we enter let's say an item that we'd like to shop for we say t and then we it opens amazon puts in t in the search box and then um you know hits the hits the enter button and then finds out um what the or i guess it finds or i guess it just searches for that item so in this case t and then after that it closes the window so you can see that the window was closed after that so um basically now what we want to do is we want to so let's say We enter in T. So now I need to see. Right, let's get the first ten items, the first ten results. So um, the only problem with this may might be that say we have T right, and we have this kind of layout. If we put in something like keyboard, we get like a kind of vertical layout instead of a horizontal layout. So that could be something that we want to um, take into account. So let's uh, let's start with the T and let's inspect the element here and let's see this kind of let's see if there's a certain class where all these elements are located. All right. So we have a size base plus a color. OK, that's the class. And how about this element? Okay, I believe it's the same thing. Let me try and open it. All right, Puka Herbal Tea Sampler. So it seems like if we say T, then we can just get all the items of this class. Let's see if I like keep scrolling down. It's gonna have the. It's gonna have the same thing. Okay. So let's try and get that information. So let's say um, search items. Uh, we're just going to use a uh, a weight, kind of like an implicit weight. So basically just trying to see, um, waiting at a maximum of 20 seconds to get all, to get the items. So get the item information, formation. Yeah, get the item information. All right, so basically what we want to do is we want to get the item and then we want to get the is there a link oh yeah there's the href link so let's see if i click this one i should go to the wrist in uh herbal tea okay nice so or it didn't say herbal tea just pure green tea get the item information as the first 10 element or 10 items displayed on the screen. So we're going to say dot until you see, uh, what did I say? EC dot visibility. And then I think we need to say of elements located or no? Elements located is this a I don't know if this is correct, but and then we need a tuple. We're gonna say by class, by class, and to take this here. Oh wait, that's a link right here. A size base plus a color base, a text normal. 
Uh, is this correct? Oh, whoops. Got up in the sea here. And then, I feel like it's elements, but I don't know if that's a... That's gonna get the... Uh, first 10. I don't know. So we need to use indexing. We say something like this, I think. To get the first 10. Um, and we can just say... Search items. I thought we're gonna say just uh, length of items. Search items. And I don't know if this is a function. I'm gonna see. Web driver waiting. Hmm. Well, this is in Selenium Docs, I believe. Ah, uh, like, uh, okay. I don't know if I'm. I think it, I think I saw it in Java Selenium. Ah, uh, maybe here. No, actually. Let me see if I can check my his. Oh, that's not the his. This is the history. Excelenium. Um. One of the document pages. Selenium Docs. No, it's not that. Did this maybe? No, oh, okay. I don't remember. <laughs> oh. I don't know, let's just say EC visibility of element located. Statement? I just said expected connection. I see. Selenium expected condition. Oh. Uh, <laughs> here it is. So, if the Java docs, which can be used in Python too, just gotta find. Uh, oh, visibility of all elements. Mm, do we want all elements though? I don't know if we want all the elements. Because that might be a lot. Because if we just keep scrolling, that's just gonna... Okay, I mean, we can only get up to the end of the first page, which... Is not that bad. Actually, let me see something. But the number of thing. Okay, it just says 48. Isn't that many? I'm trying to see if there's a setting where we can only put like 10 items. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't think so. Let me search something like. Let me search keyboard where it has that alternate layout. One, two, three, four, five. Probably six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's ten. Oh, there's a lot more. Okay. How many? Sixteen? Okay. Um. Uh, 
So I'm saying right now I'm saying visibility of elements located or of element located, right? Okay, that's what I was using before. Visibility of okay. So visibility of all elements, web element. I'm using a by locator, so I need to make sure. I think I need to say this one. Visibility of all elements located by Visibility of all elements located by and then by class say this and yeah. let's get this one. the we get a list of and items after it opens up closes Oh, we didn't close. What happened? Uh, Selenium WebDrawer has no attribute. Oh, it doesn't have an at this attribute. So, let me. Visibility of. Visibility of all elements located by. Okay, visibility of element located. That's a thing, but not the other one. Um, let me see Python EC. Um, is it visibility of all elements? Oh, expected conditions. Okay. Presence of all elements located. Could I say that? Um. Uh, perhaps for the click button, I could say something like this. But I don't know if it matters. Instead of this visibility of an XSA element to be. I don't know if that's. Uh, that's cool. Actually, I mean, for right now, it's perfectly fine. I'm actually going to shorten these eight times to just 10. I guess because I can. And it doesn't take 10 seconds. I'm going to say. I'm going to say presence of all elements located. Let's try this. Presence of all elements located. Let's see. I don't know if it worked. Yeah. I has no attribute class because it's class name. Oh. <laughs> okay. Completely <laughs> forgot about that. See you again. Still in air. Oh, it's still waiting. For 10 seconds, then it'll close, I think. Wait. What's the message? There's no message. <laughs> Timeout exception. Oh, wait. I know what the problem is, I think. I feel like. <sighs> it could be a stretch, but I feel like it's searching for every single element. So let's say I put in, and then I go to like, you know, I'm searching through all these and go to page, wait, I can't go to page seven. I only, I can't go to page seven. I want to go. <laughs> yeah, I think it's searching a hundred thousand results. 
and I don't think that. So. I think that's probably what it's. Doing. Let me see if these ones also have the same. Um, yeah, that's the problem. I think it has to search for 100,000 things, and it's not ideal. Um, and then only get the first 10. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to be correct. So, presence of all elements. Is there more elements here? Oh, uh, let's see. I'm an attribute. Element located. At least one element present on the web page. Locators used to find element. The list of web elements, so that's the problem. It's like the list of like a hundred thousand, which is not ideal. Um, so this only returns one, which is not, uh, well, I could do something where I run a loop, perhaps. You know what? I have an idea. Let's, let's say we use presence of, um, of elements located, right? And we say class name, just get this out of here. So it's just one item, uh. Let's just see that we got a um, presence of elements located. Let's just see if we get a type of web element. So let's try and run this. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if we did. <laughs> Failed to read descriptor. What is that? Oh no. Oh, that's just a timeout. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is error. Just about now. Oh, I've already searched this up. All right. What's the problem? From driver issue. Just ignore. Okay. I guess that's not a, an error then. So it just needs. To, we just have this exception. Don't find it. Uh, ah. it wasn't able to detect that you see if I just say visibility of element located visibility of element located uh, just using the you know keeping everything the same and I want to see if that oh wait that's wrong I don't know I think it would have found it by now. Yeah. Okay. Go back to. Um. I thought I was getting the right class name, but I don't know if I am now. Image. How do I know I'm getting this? I feel like this is the right class name, but it's right where you know the inspect element goes. Just 
just copied and pasted it so that it shouldn't be completely wrong in the in the name. A size base. What's the wrong one? A size base plus. A color base. A text normal. Uh, let me run this and let me make sure that it's the same. Although I don't think the HTML will even change. So if I were to go here and then inspect. I don't know if it got loaded yet. There we go. A size base plus A color base. Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, last with the same name. Okay, it's not really what I was looking for, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of strange, visibility, uh, let me look at the other, uh, actually, it should get that, unless I just need to put, like, different, like, it needs to be this class, or, this class or this class or this class or this class, but I don't know. Let me do. Um, let me copy this. And in theory, on this page, there should be. Uh, hey, let me go back. <laughs> Here, there should be 48. Whoops, supposed to find this. Okay, there's 70 of them. So 70, okay, that's at the end. So I want that. You need to just go through all the items. This is exactly what I want. I don't know exactly where that this goes, but <laughs> yeah, apparently it's this, but I, I don't see it. <laughs> but it's generally speaking, it goes through all the items that I need or all the items that I want yeah I mean seems to be pretty good um, again <laughs> or gone through it again on accident um huh I don't know let me see so let's see if I put well, what do I want? So I'm gonna want this link, right? So probably I need. What if I need this? This class? Yeah, I mean, how far would I have to go? Data component type. Um, this one? Hey, no, not that. This. <laughs> Perhaps, I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe get the whole, this would be the object, I think, the whole object, so, this A section, A spacing base, so, 
What if I set this instead? If I would get something. I even found the same thing earlier before. Same thing earlier before. This class name and then the uh, same thing. Get all the text. Uh, let's get rid of it though for now. Also, one of these episodes, I need to break this main file into uh, multiple shorter files. I don't know if it's... I don't think it's working. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know if I should do things by class name. Maybe that could be it. Okay, but they're literally all class names. Like, <laughs> unless it's I need this ID. I don't know that. I don't think I'm like. Um. if I search directly for this link I don't know I just want to see if I can find something inside of here but let me just copy element me just put it here somewhere okay, there's a lot there uh, where's the HR where's the Link and I have no idea what there's no way it's that long. <laughs> Widget name. Okay, here. Oh, it does end there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's just do this, then this, then. Take the ending part of it. Or let's just take the whole thing and go here. Let's say bye. Can I say HR yep. No. Oh. no, I can't. Ah, uh, what is it then? Let's say. ID is a selector by class name. You know what? Let's try and get the X path. The... Do this. Oops, that was right. Let's try and get the um, X path and put it here. So, X path. Let's copy the X path from. Let me stop this. Let's just go here, inspect, then here, copy. Uh, let's say full X path. Paste that in there. The full X path. And let's try and find it. What happened? Oh! That actually worked. <laughs> Wait, can I print the text? Oh. Ah! Can I even do that? Print element.txt. I can do that? Cool. <laughs> Let's try it. Search items, text, 
text. And let's see if I get something there. Or get, uh, but what is this? <laughs> what is this link? Huh? Huh? What? Hey. <laughs> Wait, why is this a different link? What just happened? Why is that a different? Is that link different? <laughs> different again? I was a different that one time. <laughs> oh, nice. We actually got the item. The Allegro T. Okay, so we just need to copy by XPath. Okay. Not bad. You know what? Let's see if this is a full XPath, right? So if we inspect this element, probably get a different X, full XPath at least. Or if we go here. Copy the full XPath, I believe they'll be different, so we don't want to manually search like that. I don't know if that'll make any sense, actually. Let me just put these side by. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Actually, it's okay. Let me just put this and then get the other one. See if I can use both the full X paths to keep searching for the same element. Okay, it's a bit different. Just a bit different. Let's get the just the X path. Let's see if those are the same. Copy. Xpath. This is for the or this is for the second element. So let's put that uh, here, and then first element. Get that Xpath. So let's copy that Xpath. But these the same. Well, this is three, this is four. Perhaps I can do some type of iteration. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Actually, let's see first if I can even find anything from this shorter X path. So let's copy that, put it in there. And let's see if we can find that. Okay, cool. So we can use also the shortened X path. The only thing that's different is the three and the four. So let's, you know what, let's do, so let's search for other items. Let's say coffee. This so will probably have the same type of. It has the same layout, so I believe it had the same thing. Search key. And I want to see if. So let's say this one here. Right? We inspect. We get A size me. Is that even the same? A size me. We're searching by XPath now. <laughs> so let me copy this XPath. See what it looks like. So we have ID search div one, div one, div span three, div two, div three, and then div 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 div. div. Oh, okay. It's a bit different. All right. So it won't be, ah, uh, you won't be able to search for the main X path like that, unless you do both of them. So, if I were to say, let's um, let's make this T and another one, keyboard. Well, let's duplicate again. Let's. Let's just search for another thing like 
computer. All right, you know what? Speakers. Let's speakers. And we have the same input. So let me see if these kind of expects are the same where they have this kind of they're like stacked downwards instead of like four in one row, like so. So let's see if I copy this text. Is it me too? Fine. Oh. Okay, well that's pretty good. So now we can see that there are two types of kind of X pass. So when it's layered like this way, that's there's this pattern, and then when it's layered the other way, that's uh, or if I say something like that, it's not gonna find it. You actually found something. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean. I don't even understand. Like, I just typed in random characters. Okay, Amazon's just weird, I guess. I don't... Alright, let's see something like that. When we have kind of a link like this, they might have different XPaths, so let's take a look. I Pretty good song. Uh, okay. Let's take this one. Copy. Uh, so this dip changes. So it's always a third kind of. So we have. These two, which always stay the same. Uh, oh wait, this is a full X-Path, so don't worry about that first one. So it's, these first two always stay the same, and they have to div, and then the span. And then the three, I guess, is always the same. Two is always the same. And now here's the difference where we just need to increment like so. So if it's, we either want to search, actually we can search starting from one being the div. And if we don't get anything, we can just um, use a try accept uh, kind of idea. So let's try this. So where we yeah. get the first and on the screen and print the text. using a loop so we're going to say for i in ring 10 and need to have a kind of x path where so we have this and then i think what i want to say i put this in a string actually but then this div has to be I? Oh yeah, it's just said like um, I and then make it an F string. Bam, wait, oh, bam. And then, so this would be from 0 to 10. Ah. Just need to say try. And then let's just say search item. So we're going to find it with the X path of X path. And then to say accept. Um, what is it? It's going to be. I don't think I want to wait 10. Let's wait one. Ah, I don't know if that's the idea, but uh, let's just wait one and let's see what happens. So, except to say um, timeout, or let's say selenium, selenium dot common. Let's put out the whole thing. Except, oh wait, do I have exceptions? Import. Yeah. 
simple exception. Wait, is there something? Ah, uh, I don't know if that's a thing actually, so I'm just gonna not do that. <laughs> um, where do I just. Uh, shoot. What? Let's just say. Timeout exception. Timeout. I can't say that. A timeout error. Webdriver exception. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. No such a except. Ah, uh, selenium dot com and that exception import. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, so from selenium dot common dot exception. Oh, 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 oh wait, actually, no, I'm gonna say right here, I can say um, my exception is timeout exception. So let's put that there and then let's call that here. So timeout exception, fantastic. Uh, I think we need to say as E and I'll just say pass. And then the loop will continue. So let's see if this works. Um, yeah, let's take a look. It only printed four. Oh wait. You know, it only printed four? Why did that happen? Tea bags or were... why is it so long? <laughs> is it actually that long? <laughs> it can help oh I think it did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, did it print this one? For a healthy heart. <laughs> um, it did that ten times too, and only got. Huh. Uh. Wait. So it got the Allegro T. Okay, it got the herb sampler, and then it got the. You know what? Let me print I that. Let's see this. So three, four, five, and six. So lips and TVX are naturally smooth black. Where is this? I don't. 
can click the element for this and try and find this. Curious as to where. Um. Oh, is this one? Uh. So somehow this X path was. 10th one. With the 6th? Uh, let me copy the X path. So this first one is a T. So let me. Uh, what? What is that? <laughs> oh, that's so strange. It actually even got that one. The heck? Huh? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's this one instead. Okay. It's like what? How is it? Okay, let's fix that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Come on now. Really? How do you even get that then? How did you even actually extract that information? That's interesting. How long are we at? 45 minutes? Alright. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the recording for this episode so we were able to find out how to um, use an X path and looping at least to get some elements so we were able to get all the elements that we want but um, yeah I mean, otherwise there was improvement today so I'm happy about that thank you very much for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment your favorite thing about the video or how I can improve my code thank you very much